Hello dear friends, welcome to another episode of Science for You. Today, I am going to give you an introduction about ESP32, which is a much more advanced microcontroller than Arduino you know. The ESP32 microcontroller has gained popularity because it has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module built in. With this Wi-Fi module, we will be able to easily communicate with internet through Wi-Fi routers and hence we can very easily make IoT projects. In today's video, I will also show you how to make a beginner project of turning built-in LED light on and off. In future, I will be making IoT projects with ESP32 where you can control, monitor and automate things from anywhere in the world through internet. So. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel to watch interesting projects in the future. Thank you. ESP32 is powered by 10 Silica, Extensa LX6, Dual Core Microprocessor, running up to 240 MHz. There are a total of 30 general purpose input output pins, called GPIO pins in the ESP32. These can be configured as inputs outputs and can also be used for communication with various sensors. The detailed pin diagram is shown here where you can see the functionality of each pin. Also there are two push buttons on either side. The right side push button is called boot, which is used for entering into the bootloader for uploading the code and left side push button is called reset, which is used for resetting the board. The ESP32 communicates to PC, laptop, or smartphone through USB port using a CP2102 chip. Behind the ESP32 board, we have the pins to connect to various devices. The ESP32 can be powered by using a USB cable and connecting it to PC, laptop, smartphone or even a power bank. Other option for powering it is by providing 5 to 12 volts between VIN and ground pins or by providing regulated 3.3 volt between 3V3 and ground pins. The ESP32 has a power LED to the left and an onboard built-in LED to the right. The built-in LED is blue in color. This onboard LED is also connected to pin number 2. The built-in Wi-Fi antenna is located at the top. You can see the model number of your ESP32 board written here on the microcontroller. As a beginner project in ESP32, I will show you how to upload the code and just make the inbuilt LED blink. For that we have to first connect the ESP32 board to PC or laptop using USB cable. ESP32 can also be programmed like Arduino Uno with the same IDE software. So open the IDE software. Before first using the ESP32 microcontroller, we need to install Board Manager. For that just go to File, Preferences and copy paste the Board Manager links in the space provided. The Board Manager links are given in the description box. After that, Go to Tools, Board Manager, and we have to search and install Board Manager ESP32 by Expressif Systems. The installation will take some time. After completing the installation, we are ready to upload the code. Download the built-in LED blink code from the link given in the description. The built-in LED is actually connected to pin number 2 whereas in Arduino it is pin number 13. We have to define the pin number 2 as output. The delay command gives the time for which the LED has to be on and off in milliseconds. By changing this value, the LED on and off frequency can be changed. Now, before uploading the code, we have to go to Tools and select the connected board as ESP32 DEV module. Then, the flash mode can be changed to DIO. This is a very important step. Q 
DIQIO also may work for some boards, but in my board, DIO only worked correctly. Please note the step as I struggled for many days to find out this. The remaining settings can be retained as such. Make sure that the correct port is also selected for uploading the code to ESP32. Now click on upload the code. You can see that the IDE software is trying to connect to ESP32 board for flashing the code. If it is not connecting properly, you can long press the boot button and release, to start uploading the code. In the board that I use, the code started uploading automatically. You can see that the code is being uploaded to the flash memory. Once the full code is uploaded, you can see that the blue inbuilt LED will start blinking on and off. You can change the value inside the delay command and upload a code again, to change the delay of the LED bulb blinking on and off. In this project, you can also make an external LED bulb blink. The inbuilt LED in ESP32 is connected to pin number 2 also. So, connect jumper wires to GPIO pin number 2 and ground pin. Connect the positive terminal of LED bulb to pin number 2 and connect negative terminal of LED bulb to ground pin. You can now see that the external LED bulb is also blinking along with the inbuilt LED bulb. Hope you like this introduction video to ESP32. I will be doing interesting IoT projects with ESP32 in the future. So, please subscribe to my channel for watching interesting videos in future. Thank you.